Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and we are finally caught up. Today is day 22 of Vivi Arvida. If you are new on here, please consider pressing the red subscribe button down below and joining the family. If you are a returnee, a member of the fam bam, welcome back fam. And thank you for joining me once again. I am excited because we finally caught up with our wrap ups. So today, as you can tell by the title, we are sharing all the books that we read in April. And I feel like our reading juju is back okay because we finished five books in april one of which was an audiobook so if you're curious as to how april went do stay tuned so Bubavena underscore reads is an amazing book reviewer also youtuber she reviews books on youtube and if i'm not mistaken she also has a blog as well so please if for your connection with literature get in touch with or follow at v-u-v-u-v-e-n-a underscore reads she is based in South Africa and I think it is also extremely important to follow literary content creators who are based outside of who are based outside of the West and in continental Africa because they do a really good job of bridging the gap. We appreciate you Vuvu for bringing us turning pages and for bringing us your booktube channel. You know, this is a chance for people to actually see some people that I really enjoy. Please consider pressing the red subscribe button down below. And if you're a returnee, welcome back, fam! Vuvu, you're amazing. Thank you so much for your time. So I'm going to start off with the audiobook which we read, which is The Awakening of Malcolm X by Tiffany D. Jackson and Malcolm X's daughter, Aisha. Sorry, I am reading the, t the name. Aisha. Mm, I'll put it up here, okay? Um, Shabazz. I just don't want to like mess up the name, but I tried. I'll put it up here somewhere. I have read um, the autobiography of Malcolm X, which was quite intriguing. It took me a while to get through because there was so much that was captured about his life in there. And I really think that Alex, what's his name from Roots? Haley. I think he did a very good job with that piece. Um, having listened to this because it was still during my Tiffany D. Jackson binge and that was the last book that I consumed, there are obviously a lot of similarities, right, to the autobiography because it is about Malcolm X, but I feel like the pace of the book, um, the things that are highlighted from his story, So this is where I'm getting stuck. I feel like maybe if I hadn't read the autobiography, I would be reacting to this book differently. Also, my other thing is that it is definitely targeted at a younger audience. So I don't even know if I am the, the target market, but it does give you insight into Malcolm X, his principles and everything that has to do with mattering as a black person in America. And I think that it is quite good for young adults in that country i just don't know if it was pitched at me and um as a result i really just struggle with it it might also be an issue of um good book not so great narrator in the sense that i don't feel like i connected with the audio and i was not i don't have a physical copy of the book do you get what i'm trying to say all in all, I'm just trying to communicate that I really had a tough time reading this one. Um, I rated it a very generous 3 out of 5. It was not my favorite of Tiffany's pile, but um, I do think that it did what it needed to do. I hope that comes through and it makes sense. Anyway, so on to the physical books that I did read in no particular order. I did pick up um, The Death of... What? I say to you, every time I pick this book up, it, the title refuses me, and I don't know why. Anyway, I picked up Akweke Emezi's You Made a Fool of Death with Your Beauty. I've already spoken about this one quite a bit. I did do a review on it. I absolutely enjoyed it. I have my issues with it, but for me, the love story between Faye and Alim trumps everything, and for that, I gave it a 4.5. Out of five stars if you're curious on my review i will link it up here for you guys um the next book that i picked up is by a fave and that is Gal gallant by v e. schwab she did not disappoint Ciao. okay 
absolutely absolutely love everything that she has done that i have consumed and this just happens to be book three i've got five of her books on my shelf this one was everything that i needed at the moment um or at the time when i picked it up it gives you fantasy it gives you uh magic it gives you otherworldly it gives you life's parallels it shows you life in foil in the sense that what what exists here in my reality might exist in a parallel universe and might not be might look exactly like this but might not be exactly this i don't know how to make sense of it for you guys in terms of just giving you a teaser but i absolutely loved this one i gave it a five out of five stars and then my next one <laughs> reviewed this one as well absolute fave of the year okay like it's a uh, like it has not been trumped but there is a very close second okay but uh, it has not been trumped yet um this is wayward which is this is a, a, a an arc reviewers copy so the actual cover i think looks like this that you'll see at the stores um this is by amelia hart um it's a debut we love debuts on here and um if you want to hear anything more about this it is kind of like a family saga tracing a lineage of certain wayward women um and how they became who they became and what their magic means and how they they learned to live in a world that did not quite accept them i will try and link that here i keep forgetting the links so please do forgive me but you will definitely find it on my um channel i have done a review on this this was a perfect five out of five like minus zero minus nothing it was absolutely divine to read i did um what do you call them i read it and i listened to it. what do you call it anyway child i did that thing i don't know what it's called anymore my mind's not working okay hybrid i hybrid read this with the audio over on audible absolutely spectacular the book and the audio gelled very well so five out of five stars for this one i did get this one um at an event that jonathan ball publishers did um host last year and the last book i picked up was a cozy mystery that i got from pan mcmillan south africa and this is the cat who caught a killer by lt sheer sheera guys ne? i really want to say that's the surname and sheera 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 Ucha. I don't know. I think that's what it is. And it looks like it's book one of a series um, called Conrad the Cat. Cat? What? Yes. Conrad the Cat Detective. I absolutely enjoyed this one. It was cute. It was cozy. I really did not know how I'd feel about a talking cat who is helping in the crime. Um mystery that unfolds in this one but i absolutely love how the characters came through this is lulu who is our main um human character and conrad who is our main animal character and i really think that um shiera shiera really did a good job with showcasing the cat's personality and he is quite endearing absolutely loved loved the quirks that this character was given absolutely loved this one i ended up rating it a four out of five stars and that brings us to the end of this wrap up april wrap up and like i'm saying we caught up hey hey look at us um very happy that we are caught up otherwise as per usual i really do love you guys for choosing me thank you thank you thank you and until next time bye now